to continue our discussion about nitrogen operations here in this tutorial we will discuss properties of liquid and gaseous nitrogen so we'll start the introduction during nitrogen operation the field crew have to deal with both liquid nitrogen and gaseous nitrogen the liquid nitrogen is primarily handled during the storage transport and pumping while the gaseous nitrogen is handled after the liquid get converted to gas after passing through the vaporizer simply when we have to transfer the nitrogen from the third party boiler to the pumper then we have to deal with the liquid nitrogen and during pumping also we are dealing with the liquid nitrogen but when the nitrogen leaves the pump, pump unit it has been converted into the gas state so the operator has to deal with both the states that is liquid nitrogen as well as gaseous nitrogen so for the successful execution an operator must have the idea about the properties and handling procedures of both these states so the piping and pumps must be able to handle cryogenic temperature cryogenic temperature means a very low temperature which is required for the conversion of the gaseous nitrogen into the liquid state that is the nitrogen which we are using on the field is present in the liquid form initially and its temperature is very low minus 320 degree fahrenheit so the piping and the pumps we are using must be able to handle this low temperature that is cryogenic temperature after the nitrogen has passed through the vaporizer and is in gaseous state the operator must understand and deal with the nitrogen as a gaseous state so here we will see the properties of liquid and gaseous nitrogen nitrogen at room temperature and atmospheric pressure is a colorless odorless non toxic non flammable gas below are given some information about the characteristics of nitrogen chemical symbol of the nitrogen is n2 percentage of the nitrogen in atmosphere is 78% by volume temperature of the liquid nitrogen is minus 320.4 degree fahrenheit that is minus 195.8 degree celsius boiling point is minus 320 degree fahrenheit critical temperature is minus 232.6 degree fahrenheit that is this is the maximum temperature at which nitrogen can exist as liquid if the temperature is above than this one minus 232.6 then the nitrogen will not be able to exist in the liquid state irrespective of the pressure we have applied one gallon of liquid nitrogen is equal to 93.05 scf of gaseous nitrogen this is very important point we have to memorize it that one gallon of liquid nitrogen is equal to 93.05 standard cubic feet of gaseous nitrogen this is the conversion factor which we have to use in the field multiple times so this 93.05 is the important point we have to memorize this this value 1 pounds of liquid nitrogen is equal to 13.8 standard cubic feet of liquid nitrogen density of liquid nitrogen in ppg is 6.74 pounds per gallon exposure of exposure of the liquid nitrogen to the skin can cause severe burns so we must be very careful while handling to the liquid nitrogen exposure of the mild steel to liquid nitrogen will cause distortion cracking and ultimate failure of the structural members so while transporting the liquid nitrogen and other handling we have to make sure that the liquid nitrogen is not leaking and not falling on any mild steel component because it will crack and then can lead to a failure or a major accident here we will talk some about some safety aspects related to liquid and gaseous nitrogen because the nitrogen is injected into the well as a gas under pressure it has a very high potential energy and by the way in oil and gas industry this nitrogen is is the only gas which is pumped in the gaseous state other gases are pumped in the liquid state for example co2 is also pumped in the liquid state and other fluids are also pumped in the liquid state this nitrogen is the one gas which we pump in the gaseous state in the well bore the treating pipe pipe used in well services are usually designed for use at temperature at temperature as low as minus 20 degree fahrenheit so we should be very careful that liquid nitrogen should not come in treating lines because if liquid nitrogen will come in the treating lines 
the temperature of the liquid nitrogen is minus 320 degree fahrenheit so they will crack the treating glands or the treat, uh, treating pipes so you have to be very careful that liquid nitrogen should not come inside the treating lines if we observe some frost on the treating lines it is an indication that the gas temperature has been reduced or there is some problem so the operator should take corrective action as soon as possible to remove this frost and avoid the entry of the liquid nitrogen into the treating lines that was a discussion about uh, some properties of liquid and gas and nitrogen i am very much hopeful that you got understanding regarding what we have discussed thank you very much see you in the next tutorial